So I got my amazing mandolin slicer, the Dash mandolin in the mail, and I have actually been using it and it is as great as advertised, actually. So let me show you how that works. You will need a some kind of a tray to put under that can call, catch fluid because the juices will be spilling out onto the I will put it sideways just for demonstration purposes but the juice will leak on the counter unless you put something under there just to catch that so first we have this part here that installs right in front it's the veggie shoot I have to make sure that it's in there right um, this is the plunger that you're going to be pushing it with it fits right in here and this is the little tray that collects um, sliced vegetables. I have sliced many things on here already and um, there is, well, actually I should have set my dial first. I would like to slice some thin cucumber slices. There are numbers on the dial here but that also sets in between the numbers. I will go to one and see if I like it and if I do I will leave it there. If not, you can always adjust it. All I want is just slices for my salad today. I'm not going to be doing anything special. So you twist the knob, it opens the mandolin, and actually that's all you do. So let's see our slices. That's kind of how I want them. I like them thinner. And you just keep going works really fast and for slicing it you wouldn't need to do anything extra once we get to a certain height I will show you match sticks because you do need to slice the vegetable in a certain way in order for those match sticks or julienne slices to be long enough and I love how the tray just fits all that in and you're not having to uh, chase it anywhere so for in order for this to be match stick well you have to be able to fit it in here so you would have to cut probably this much of the cucumber still and the reason why is is because if you want short match sticks you can do them this way this cucumber is pretty big so it would still work but if you want the little bit longer ones then you would have to have the cucumber sideways so let's do some more slicing here because it's still okay. And then you would actually turn your cucumber. The best thing is to cut it lengthwise because then you can put it flat um, against the surface that you need to cut it on, like so. Then there are two little dials over here that you would have to turn to take out the little um, julienne or other that the little teeth um, you can't you can't really see it in here but trust me if I tell you they are here and they work great I even julienne tomatoes in here and it worked so you would want to have it hold it up with your plunger here and now you can see how beautifully it slices cucumber into very long matchsticks so this is only if you want long matchsticks like that but it works great i even did a tomato like that yesterday i just don't feel i need it for my salad so i will put the setting back uh, put the cucumber in my salad bowl it is just that easy i i don't easily get excited about appliances but this really is one that uh that is just really working as advertised i uh, hope it's going to be durable too so this turn and half actually closes those side knives completely as i just want to be slicing um good cucumber <laughs> so I just want slices it works on 
side of um, unsweet fruit. Well, these are really fruits, not vegetables that I have tried. Let's try pepper is too big, it won't fit in here. What you, what you can do with pepper, because it's really soft actually, is just roll it under. It goes to work. So then you have those very juicy and tender, thin pepper slices that really do change the taste of your dishes. The smell is amazing, let me tell you, and you can see how the juices are gathering here. It's just because this container doesn't reach all the way to the to the end. So that can be done with peppers. You just can't. you don't even have to slice it, you can just fold it up. Unless you want the slices to be smaller lengthwise, then you can go ahead and and just um cut your pepper because otherwise these are pretty long but I don't mind so much. I really like peppers. Um, in my salads and that makes gives it a little bit softer texture because it is thinner um, I have more peppers, but I wanted to show you cherry tomatoes. It is Unbelievably well slicing thing. All I do is just throw them in here as you see and It will Slice them thin or thick, however you want. Let's make it a little bit thicker slice. So you don't have to handle one cherry tomato at a time. So these are the thicker slices. That's what they look like. Nothing is disturbed. Everything is beautifully cut. And the thinner ones are still looking great, even though they are super thin. I'm looking for one right now. You see that they are, mm, sorry, they are still intact and uh i do have a clean counter and uh yeah so it that's what it does it it really i really um definitely recommend it for people that do slice a lot of veggies and um it's fast cleanup is really easy just make sure to hide the little teeth before you rinse it it makes it easier because the chunks of veggies don't get stuck on them so the washing process is a lot faster so I just, if you need one, please do buy one and I hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.